Hello, my name is Robin Hughes and I'm a lead instructor of mathematics here at Pennsylvania Highlands Community College and your ACE liaison. Welcome to the 2000-2017 year. In this video, I will cover a few short topics including syllabi and books, assessment, site visits, and my peak. As far as the syllabus and books, the most updated syllabi for your course can be found on my peak. Click on the ACE tab, mathematics, and then on a specific course. The text is listed that's used by the college. Many ACE instructors ask if they have to use the same text as the college. The answer is no, but you do need to cover all of the objectives covered in the syllabus. All of our math courses use an online homework system called My Math Lab. Since this is an added expense, you are not required to have your students use this online system. But as an instructor, you have access to My Math Lab and all of its resources. It offers powerful capabilities to create tests, homework assignments, interactive figures, and worksheets. Access to this system is of no cost to you and you simply need to let me know and we will be happy to contact Pearson to make that happen. Assessment. Our procedure remains the same as last year with one important exception. You only need to submit assessment materials if you are being visited by an ACE liaison for a formal site visit. Each instructor is visited on a three-year cycle. You will be responsible for submitting three forms of assessment material. One, samples of student work. Two, data from questions assessed in your course. And three, a narrative about the assessment. Starting with samples of student work. You will be responsible for submitting a sample of A, C, and F student work. This work must be a graded homework assignment, quiz, or test and must show your corrections. It also must be collected from an ACE student. We are aware that many times you do not have students enrolled in your course who submit F work. Submit what you have. This work will be collected at the time of your evaluation, so make sure you are prepared prior to the visit. The second component of assessment is collection of data from assessed questions. This procedure remains the same as last year, but again, you are only responsible for submitting it if you are scheduled for a site visit. The assessment question does not have to be completed prior to your visit. The process is simple. A specific question has been designed for each course. Assessed questions will be placed on a quiz or test following the instruction on the assessed outcome. Let's go through the process. Go to the ACE tab on MyPeak, click on Math, and scroll to the center of the page you'll find a Review Handout section. Click on Fall 2016 Math Department Assessment Questions. This document contains all of the assessed questions for every math course currently offered at Penn Highlands. Scroll down this document until you find your course. We'll use MAT 131 as an example. The outcome is listed and does not need to be placed on your quiz or test. The question to be assessed is shown Input on your quiz or test after you've covered the material. Note, the assessed questions are not multiple choice. Under the question, the answer is listed followed by a rubric. Assign the numeric value listed in the rubric that matches your student's work. You will report the data using a document found in the same review handout section. This file can be found under the same handout section on MyPeak. Upon entering the document, you will see a tab for each course. Click on the appropriate tab, enter your last name, and list each student's name, last name only, and A students. Type in the numeric value for their work on the spreadsheet, and it will calculate the percentage passed and failed. Email this document to me at rchughes at penhighlands.edu. The final assessment piece you will be responsible for is a written narrative about the assessed question and how your ACE students performed. You'll use the document Blank Assessment Form. Again, this file can be found in the same handout section on MyPeak. You'll complete this form for each course that you teach. This form asks for basic information, but the crucial component is at the bottom to give us viable feedback on how the students met the outcome. Again, email this form to me upon completion. So to recap, assessment includes three components, student work, an Excel spreadsheet with question results, and a written narrative. 
Topics were chosen specifically on topics taught near the middle of the course to avoid having to wait until the end of the year. Email your spreadsheet and narrative upon completion. All of the instructions I've mentioned here can be found in the review handout section on the ACE page. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions, please contact me via email rhughes at penhighlands.edu or by phone. Have a great year and thank you for being a part of our team.